A man driving an SUV was overdosing on opioids when he smashed his vehicle into a gas station on the side of a New Jersey road on Tuesday, killing a father, his son, and a gas station attendant. The driver of the Honda Pilot was heavily under the influence of opioids, so much so that he needed to be revived by Narcan, according to WPIX-TV. The driver, who has not been identified, was not injured. The gas station attendant has been identified as Lavadeep Fatra, 23. The other two fatalities are a father and his 17-year-old son who were inside a Chevy Camaro that had its roof torn off. All three fatalities were pronounced dead at the scene. One of the drivers was rushed to St. Joseph's University Medical Center in Patterson for treatment. The horrific three car accident took place at the Delta gas station located alongside Route 23 in Wayne, New Jersey. Police received a report about the crash at 8.46 a.m., Passaic County authorities said. A N I witness told WCBS News Radio 880 that he saw the Honda Pilot smash into the gas station before it hit a Nissan Rogue and a Chevy Camaro. The Pilot, which had its windshield shattered, and its front showing signs of a major collision, went airborne, hit a gas station sign, and then landed, catching fire. There was a gas station sign which was about 12 or 15 feet in the air, it hit the sign and then spun over and landed, the witness, Tito Krishnamurthy, said. I looked and I saw flames under the car. Krishnamurthy says he then grabbed a fire extinguisher and put out the flames engulfing the pilot. He then went over to the Camaro, which was also on fire. He saw the lifeless bodies of a father and his teenage son. Police arrived and we tried to open the door, but we couldn't open the door. That's when we gave up, Krishnamurthy said. Krishnamurthy says he also saw Fatra, the gas station attendant, collapsed on the ground. The gas station attendant was crumpled on the floor and I knew right away there was nothing I could do to help him, he said. Authorities have yet to release information about whether there was anyone inside the Nissan Rogue at the time of the crash. The debris from the crash damaged a number of cars that were parked in the parking lot of a nearby Mazda dealership, according to WABC-TV. Fatra is a newly arrived immigrant to the United States. He came over from India last year, his cousin told WNBC TV. His parents are devastated overseas, said the cousin, not Deep Singh. He speaks to them every day. Day and night. I don't know what to make of it.